Hello, welcome back. Last time I played a morning game of Demon Tower, and then wandered around town for a little bit. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting up with B and Greg, and I guess Angus for band practice at some point. Uh, Mr. Chazakov is up on top of one of the roofs here. And I want to go up and see him, because I think I can actually get there. I didn't want to go on the screen, and loading takes forever here for some reason. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of stuff to load in Town Center. So I finished Demon Tower, but I think I realized there's actually something left to do there. Um, if you remember that side room in level 10... Whoops, right, that's where I'm going. Um, there was a character who gave a code at the end of... at the beginning of level 3 or 4 or something long ago. I saw it, I killed it, I kinda sorta noted the code, then just forgot it was even a thing. Um, so I think this is how I get here. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to have to replay to find that again and see what's going on with it. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm going to call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. Your what? What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. Uh, what's Dusk Stars? Wandering stars, the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? It is a trick of the atmosphere and setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Is that a real thing? I could believe it. <laughs> Want to have a look? Uh, sure. Yeah. Excellent. When did he invite me here? Holy crap, my eyes! <laughs> oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, I'm looking for something, I guess. Whoa! Did I find one? Buttons don't... Aha! Found one! Let me have a look. Oh, I think I recognize that constellation. Ah, uh, yes, Dor the Murderer. I don't remember that name, though. Okay, I'm interested. Dor passed Baron uh, the King's... Dor passed Baron the King's procession on the street. Dor was quiet and said nothing, and the King took offense to this. Door past Baron the King's procession. Okay, yes, that, that does make sense as it's written. I was trying to figure out if there was a missing word there. Uh, geez. So what happened? Baron insulted Door, Door's family, Door's village, and so on, until he was down to insulting Door's chickens. Uh, chickens are kind of awful. Weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. <laughs> they peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. <laughs> Dor first murdered Baron's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Baron, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? Uh, well, she seems to think so. Totally. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> okay. So we're playing Longest Night again. That's fine, that was fun. Just in a slightly different format. Alright, so those are my bounds. I like the... just sort of vague color gradients going on around here. Alright, so this one... Found one, I think? Let me have a look. Yeah, yes, Castus. Uh, what's Castus? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? Never. <laughs> Defy Castus's gods also, will you? 
The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. Okay. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Uh, yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> so I wonder, what is it with this game and astronomy? Like, clearly it was important in the pre-games. Dora Castus? Neat. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure... I'm, I'm not following how it's going to play into the overall story here, if at all. Or if it's just a thing May happens to be interested in. Or just, just a part of the world that everybody... I don't know. Right, uh, so things I want to do. Um, I talked to him. I want to go down here, see if the teenagers are there. I went up on the church hill. Uh, right, this is this end of the platform. Many miners, old and young, with home in heart and coal in lung, were taken by the trolleymen up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes horm. <laughs> horm? Please stop listening. <laughs> Honey, I'm horm. <laughs> well, she follows what he meant. I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never under underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. So, we saw some city officials talking about things of historical note earlier. I guess they were just deciding where funds go or something. Delicious pretzels. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. I don't remember this being here before. Maybe I just didn't notice it because she didn't have anything to say. <laughs> oh, hey! It's my aunt, the cop. Because this mural is of historical note, Molly. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used bolt cutters on the gate and came down here. What did they use? A paint roller? Looks to be. Oh, yeah, I see that. It's all, all painted over. It says they intend to nuke Poss something? I think it's likely some kid. Nuke Possum Springs? Saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when, and got bored halfway through writing it. <laughs> we need to treat this as a terrorist action. I'm sorry. This mural is of historical note. Alright, well, I'll round up any uh, terrorists I see. Don't look in my direction. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. <laughs> I think at most they'd get a fine at some jail time. This was of historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Colleen, we all know what you think. What, you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had ideas for this place. Colleen, we are not going to put a rest home down here. It's just wasted space. And they're down here anyway at Trolleyside News every day. We are not putting our elderly in a hole. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we closed it, I wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I got things to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. This was of historical note. This sure is a picture. Oh, I missed my chance. Oh, there we go. What the heck? <laughs> okay. The dudes. Someone hacked up the dudes. Who did this? Why did they do it? Okay, I see. Thought. Nuke Possum Springs. <laughs> How very suggestible she is. <laughs> hmm. 
Can I go this way? No. So are those like the city council members or somebody like that? That's going to be my guess for now. Social security... Past what? What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Possibilities is gone! Oh, yeah, thank you for 28 wonderful years. Possum Springs, love, Sal, and Jen. No more pizza delivery! No more Big Sal! Oh, is that where we ate pizza that one time? No more special birthdays. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town since the flood that took out... Uh, the petting zoo. Thank goodness all the animals swam to safety on the roof of the tire place. Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I am so freaking depressed right now. Alright, uh, let's go see Angus. I think seeing B is how I advance the story, so I'm going to see Greg and Angus first. Hey, Bay. Hey, Angus. How's it going? You're like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. Oh, so he's the singer. Okay. You growl real good. Thanks. I'm a born growler. <laughs> well, you are a bear, I think. <laughs> when I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. <laughs> I think I cried nonstop until I was like nine. And then I cried all the time again, starting at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. <laughs> all right. So since the old pickaxe is to the right, I'm going to go left first. What are these two up to? Are they smelters fans, I think? How about them smelters? Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. <laughs> Alright, so I think it's confirmed they are a sports team. Oh, hi, you're new. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Warden? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. <laughs> so that's weird germ. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw a rabid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. <laughs> wow. It was like... the poem. Okay. This cat's paws do not move as fast as the cat moves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, germ? Question marks. <laughs> Snack Falcon. There is a lot to see here, and it seems like it's increasing every day. Hey, Greg. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? Right, this is still the morning after. Well, afternoon after the uh, the party happened. I forgot that not much time has gone by. Was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town, and I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Uh, I was just stopping in, gonna roll out. Later, brah. Okay. Uh, so actually I talked to him to start band practice. Got it. Okay, I'll be back later. So I met Germ, I found out possibilities is closed. I had some astronomy with Mr. Chazakov. That was cool. So, I'm wondering if I missed some... Could hike, hike out to the abandoned food donkey. Oh, it's this way? I thought it was in the other direction. I'm not going to hike, hike out to the abandoned food donkey. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if I missed some dialogue somewhere where Mr. Chazakov invited me to do stuff, or if I just forgot. Oh yeah, this is where the arm was. Oh, so no, it was at the diner where we had the pizza. So it wasn't possibilities. So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. 
No one could survive their arm just falling off, or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you chop an arm off? Uh, I think that's dismemberment. Seems like it should be a different word. I think it's dismemberment. <laughs> arm choppy. <laughs> you are under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Well, you could check, like, that hospital, assuming there is one of the, those here. If it just happened a few days ago, that's probably where they are if they're not dead. Getting an outpost too. Pregnant person. Okay. Somewhere here is the old pickaxe. Man, these load times are kind of the only thing that's... <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> They're longer than they should be. Tell us off. Anything happening here? Coffee and cigarettes, as usual. Okay. Pickaxe. Hey, I saw you here earlier, I think. How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, jeez. I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers and wrenches and nails. My god, the nails. <laughs> All right. Hey, B. Hey, B. <laughs> Yo. Sorry about last night. I get, I get woozy on cold medicine, so I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. <laughs> Bad practice later? <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even abandoned high school. Nah, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. Casey? Which one was Casey? I don't remember. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. <laughs> it's a laptop, B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. I got some work to do. Okay. All right, let's talk to Greg and start bad practice. I've been eager to play that game again. Probably not going to get all perfects this time, but I'm going to try. Now that I know what's going on. I wonder if it'll be the same song or a different one. Meow. Alright, uh, been there. Can't go there anymore. Okay, Snack Falcon, here. So what's up? Uh, we gonna head out to band practice? Okay, I guess we are. Yeah, germ came. Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once, and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I can see that. He's even shorter than I am. He's like two years younger or something. All right, kids, I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. Okay, so it's a new song. And I barely remember remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. <laughs> Weird Autumn. That's the name of this chapter. Okay, this is early.
weird. Man, I was so close. <laughs> the rhythm got super weird in a couple of those places. Pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad considering I don't know this song. That was what she said last time. Die anywhere else? Weird autumn. I wonder if I get a chance at some point to just play whichever of these I want. I want to rematch on both of them. <laughs> hey, hey, duder. Angus leaving for the night? Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if he didn't. If I didn't have plans, plans, crimes. Ooh, crimes! You up for some crimes? Hmm. Uh, definitely. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're both both howling apparently. Oh, and we're leaving. Crimes. Okay. I wanted to see if I could talk to Germ again. Oh well. The heart of hometown since 1972. Would this happened to be Food Donkey? And they found him out in the back of the junkyard. That's upsetting. He'd been there for a while. This is depressing. Really? I just thought it was like super raw. <laughs> no, I mean the abandoned Food Donkey. Yeah, I know, right? It was a shock. I think it's seventh grade, uh, seventh. I think it's second grade. We colored pictures for Thanksgiving. And they were like Food Donkey themed. And they put them up on these windows. I remember that. It was a donkey dressed up as a turkey. Yeah, horrifying. <laughs> really, really horrible. <laughs> what did they do with all the food? Donkey turkeys got them. Donk turks. Donkeys. So what are we doing here? Crimes? <laughs> okay, I'm like double in now. I've been living too clean, May. Damn right. We run this town. Why don't we go in? Hey! What the hell are you doing? I think I... Yeah, cool, I got his attention. What? Oh uh, yeah, here he comes. Who? You don't know him, I don't think. Try me. Oh god, what is that smell? Glue? Oh no, is that... Sup, ladies? <laughs> oh. Effing Steve Scriggins. Uh. Did you just actually make a fart noise? Okay, so that's what that was. <laughs> you ladies lost or something? Deal's a deal, Steve. I ain't forgot. Where is it, then? In the back? I remember you, you know. I bet everyone remembers you. Uh, that teacher sue you yet? Or at least beat you up in a parking lot? Which teacher? The one you locked in the closet during longest night break. Psh, that guy can't even go in small rooms now. He was always a wuss, just needed someone to bring it out. Okay, well, can we get on with this? Man, crimes indeed. What are we doing here? I can't run. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> How much is there to say about hot dogs? <laughs> so this still works sometimes? Nah. You know Beth Holstead? Yeah? She was in here like six months ago and she swears it talked. Whoa. Didn't even have to push the button. But I don't know how much steak I'd put in it. You know, Beth. Kinda? There's a lot of glue in here. I guess. 
Man, he walks weird. Look what he's doing with his arms. <laughs> Rain. 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 <laughs> God damn it. What? Someone locked the effing door. God damn it, I bet it was Beth. Or Levy. Or the train trash. So. Ah! They better not have stolen anything. From the abandoned grocery store with the unlocked doors. What's behind this door, anyway? Could probably bust it open. Or I could go get my lockpick stuff. I bet there's like a key or something. Whatever. Do I get to choose now whether to help him bust the door open or go for lockpick stuff? No. Okay, guess I'm going with Greg. I see something. Hmm. Well, this is different. Is your lockpick stuff here? What are you doing? Trying to find something to help bust down the door. Cool. I'm looking for a key because I'm smarter. Uh-huh. But I get to hit, hit things. Crap. <laughs> How much glue do they need in here? Dude, you gotta stick stuff to stuff to run a successful business. Well, apparently not. What are you doing? Gotta check that office up there. Cool. Don't, like, slice yourself to death in the glass. Dumb death. Dumb death. All right, I think I know what I'm doing, but I want to look over here first. Can't leave. Okay, got to commit some crimes first. I see some very clear platforms. Probably want to do one of these. One, two, three. No wonder this place went under. People leaving keys all over the place. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, she jumped through a broken window, now I notice. <laughs> uh, found some keys! Guys? Anything over here? No. I hear two people busting down the door now. <laughs> Yo, idiot, stop kicking before you break your femurs or something. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, sorry. Hey, idiot and Greg, stop kicking. I got keys. Where'd you get them? Office, up there. No wonder this place went under. <laughs> Leaving keys all over the place. That was exactly what I thought. I'm upset that we thought the exact same words. <laughs> I thought it better. <laughs> Why are we doing crimes with this guy? Robbers can't be choosers. They really can. You know I can hear you, right? Oh, creepy masks. Oh god, these guys. I was both t terrified and super into these things when they put them out front. They moved. They look so tiny when they're in pieces. Uh, <laughs> we're smaller in pieces too. <laughs> Too real. I hope you get chopped up by a chopper. I hope you get chopped up by a blunt chopper. You two are weird. Okay, we're stealing one of these. Is it even stealing? It's better if we think of it as stealing. Cool. Well, there's enough for one for each of us. Ah! What? Ah! <laughs> Dude, what? Ah! Ah! Dude, what? I can't pick. They all look great. You get one. That's the deal. Hurry up. Ooh, let me pick. Let me pick. Sure. Uh, so I can look. Does that imply choosing? If I'm going to... Oh, um... Ah, uh, which one? I'm bad at decisions that actually mean something. You picked out the tuxes we wore to junior prom. No, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty good at it. Remember how Tim Whitley rode that giant tractor into homecoming? Totally. So, did you pick? Uh, dude, give me time. Okay, so I can look. Uh, dude, is this serious business? This is serious business. Okay then, let's treat it like serious business. I'm hungry though. Uh, me too. We should eat later. Yeah, probably. I do have places to be, you know. 
God, I remember these being less horrifying. They were tall then, couldn't see their faces. I gotta look at you ladies' faces. <laughs> I think this one's kind of cute. Aw, oh, he thinks it's cute. Steve, you are a disease. Pretty cool pig. Yeah, pretty alright. Didn't he used to hold, like, sausage links or something? Yeah, that's messed up. Eating his own kind. Or her own kind. Whatever, PC police. PC yourself into traffic, Steve. Anyway. Cannibal pig, man. Cannibal pig. Jeez, why does she get to pick? Why is this such a thing? This is taking forever. Scriggins, bite my entire ass. What? Go legally brain dead from lack of oxygen due to choking on my entire ass. Uh, what? Classic. That's right, Steve. Classic. Oh my god, can we just get this done already? <laughs> Old Greeny here. I used to have dreams about this thing. Sex dreams. Probably. Best you could get. Probably. <laughs> do frogs even have sex? Yes, they do, uh, Greg. <laughs> nah, they got like eggs or something. Well. <laughs> you two are really, really dumb. Alright, so I'm a little torn between these two. I do not want this green thing. I think I'm gonna go with the pig. Which one are we going with? Um, okay, I think I got it. Sweet. Okay, kids, we're gonna go with... Pighead. Yeah, Robot Piggy. Finally, goddamn. Oh, shut up, Steve. You know what? I ain't carrying nothing. See ya, ladies. Steve! Get found dead, punks. <laughs> he says punks like it's a bad thing. I don't care. He's scum and a criminal, and anyway, I think he's been bad news from the start. Mm, yes. What deal did you make with him? He's allowed to shoplift whatever he wants from the Snack Falcon while I'm working. Wow, really? <laughs> That's... Okay, Greg, I guess it's your choice. See? Criminal all the way. Some people. So should we, like, smash a window to get this out of here? You couldn't just carry it out the door? Oh god, I still smell the glue. My neighbor's gonna think I'm on drugs. Or just, like, gluing the hell out of some shit. Okay, so... We're really carrying this thing up the stairs? This is gonna be great. You are so gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna get squashed like a pancake. <laughs> but seriously, don't kill me. Watch me and I'll give you the signals. Roger, roger. Okay. Whoops, uh, right? <laughs> I love that this is a minigame. <laughs> I kind of want to see what happens if I fail, but I'm not going to. If I can avoid it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tired. I know, right? Remember, like, I worked a whole day before doing this. You sit on your ass all day, I bet. Only part of it. I stand a lot. My arms are dead, dude. My entire body is dead, dude. Ugh. Let's get this over with. <laughs> You'd get over faster if you just went forward. But I don't want to drop it. And there's another stairway. Oh man, really? Why? How did... Where are we? I thought we just went down a ramp that was, like, just about on the same level as the... <laughs> What's up with the stairway? What are we doing? <laughs> Also, how did the employees of this place do this? Maybe they had an elevator or something? Oh, shoot. I guess I was too slow. 
<laughs> Sorry! Ah! <laughs> okay, so I gotta be quick. Because I pressed the direction, I was just slightly too slow, I guess. The tone of the piano music matches the stair we're standing on. Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. There we go. One more to do, at least. Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> I'm going to have to look up how to fix this. Angus isn't back until tomorrow night. I'll think about it later. Want to go get some food? Hells yes! So just the two of us, then? Yep. Too bad you didn't snap your spine. Too bad your arms didn't get ripped off. Too bad you weren't horribly disfigured. Too bad you didn't fall and break your teeth on a stair. Too bad you didn't tr get trapped under the box. Too. Not finished. And then burned alive in a building fire. Too bad you didn't crawl into a vent to escape the fire and get cooked. Ah, good times. So this is just the thing that they do. <laughs> I still smell glue. Think about something else. I can't. I think I'm high from the glue. Think about pierogies. They have pierogies, uh, they have pierogies when you're at school. This one church in town would sell them during whatever holiday. Feast of the Perpetual Pierogi. Yo, dude. What? Open your mouth. Why? Trust me. True friendship is this. <laughs> Alright, stay just like that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so choose a pierogi, I guess? <laughs> Are you serious? So how fast does this thing move? Uh. Oh, what? Ah, my face! <laughs> okay. How did I miss? I thought I was right on. Okay, so right about now? No? Ah, my face! Okay, so maybe farther left. No. Oh god, it burns! <laughs> ah, that one has pepper in it. Okay, so let's... <laughs> maybe it's not possible to do this. <laughs> it acts like it's gonna be, though. So do I have to just be perfectly centered? There we go. Nom nom nom. <laughs> All right, I think I figured out the timing and positioning, kinda. There we go. <laughs> I love onion. <laughs> uh, okay, I thought that was a bit late, but I did it. <laughs> How many is he gonna eat? This is really silly. Good. Oh, <laughs> too spicy. I heard that noise. So he loves onion. Let me give him another one. Mm hmm. Out of pierogies. Dang. <laughs> A majority of those made it into my mouth, so I'm happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I might be sick. True friendship, letting your friend make you sick. True bros. True bros. I feel like this is the first time we've just gotten to hang out. How's it feel? Uh, real good. Same, dude. So how have things been? Uh, good. Weird seeing you with a regular job that you like. Go to, that you like go to. <laughs> yeah, working on the plan. Uh, the plan? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Yeah, we're gonna move to Bright Harbor? Uh, since when? Uh, a year or so now? That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring? That's like a few months away. Yeah! Oh. 
You should come visit when we get settled in. Um, why Bright Harbor? Oh, May, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's, like, record stores and weird bars, and everyone's cool and, like, free? Oh. That's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. It's of a sheep. <laughs> Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was, like, all the way hot, and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. How long do you think you're staying in town? Um, I don't know. I'll help you pick somewhere out. Yeah. It was really great hanging with you tonight. I've been really boring lately. I haven't done a crime in a long time. Why? Angus, the plan, can't go to Bright Harbor if I get caught or fired. You're all adult now. I'm bona fide. I'm gonna go, I think. Good call. We need to de-glue. <laughs> I think we stunk up the diner. Eh, it wouldn't be the first time. I missed you. You do, bro. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so there wasn't really anywhere to stop in all of that. Um, so here is about the best place I have. <laughs> Scriggins. Ugh. <laughs> Greg rules, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that is pretty great. Okay, cool. Uh, see you next time to, I don't know, go to bed, I guess. Talk to my dad first. Um, and see what we're up to tomorrow, because it doesn't seem like May really has much of a plan. Just kind of coasting along on whatever happens. <laughs> all right, see you then.